never starve around uh, inside the armory anyways. Uh, there's just tons of places and whatnot where you can definitely grab a bite to eat right behind me, you know, it's uh, big, big foot. Uh, so obviously there's tons of really yummy, big size, huge portions of uh, meat dishes, obviously. Uh, there's also burgers and uh, you know, I think there's a seafood place right behind me. There's pizza, Seattle fudge, uh, and uh, you know, whatever you'd need. They all see burgers. And, and, uh, oh, and right behind me was also a. Uh, let me just spin around a little bit. Right behind me, there's also a wall. So that looks like uh, some Chinese or Asian fare. inside the Seattle Center Armory. Um, right behind me is all the uh, food stalls as well as if you could see there's free Wi-Fi as well so very very cool and like I said a lot of uh, all the events and, and whatnot of course this is a really cool sign of the Armory if you can see it right behind me. But, uh, yeah well, so that's the uh, Armory here in the Seattle Center. Hey guys so um, I didn't notice this until I looked up there are like these huge bananas on these uh, trees behind me. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Um, again, that is the uh, armory, or this is the armory. But I didn't realize as well, you have a really, really good view of the Seattle Space Needle just right in front of where I'm standing right now. Let me move a little bit further out so you can see it. So that's the uh, famous Seattle Space Needle. Um, and this is what you'll see around this area of Seattle Center.
inside me is the EMP or the Experimental Music Project Museum. Um, it houses a lot of the paraphernalia of um, music history from Nirvana to um, uh, Jimi Hendrix and the Beatles and, and a lot of different things as well. A very interesting uh, place to go in to get into. Uh, like I said, it is a museum if you're definitely a, um, a music history buff. Definitely, definitely. And, and there's also, I think, uh, pianos and whatnot that you could uh, play around with. So a bit of, of it being interactive, but a lot as well is memorabilia from uh, famous musical legends and icons. Um, very interesting building though, like if you notice, it's uh, it, it sort of uh, reflects the light. Um, and of course today it's a bit overcast, so this is, I think, its natural color. But yeah, on a really sunny day, it just reflects the light that hits uh, the outside of it. So very interesting, very different from the rest of the Seattle Center. And of course, look at where it's located. It's definitely just located right next to the uh, Space Needle. So that's where I am. I'm still in the Seattle Center. And in this area, there's um, museums, the Space Needle, restaurants, theaters, um, fountain as well, and uh, a lot of different things. So it's really a nice place to just Walk around, especially on a lazy Sunday afternoon. Um, bring your family, bring your friends, bring, bring um, everyone that's visiting Seattle to this place because I think it's a very nice and chill area. But at the same time, a lot of the festivities, like events, um, as well as um, big gatherings, even marathon runs and whatnot, starts and ends here at the Seattle Center. So still in the uh, Seattle Center and right behind me is the International Fountain. Um, typically, and they play cool music as well and uh, definitely a great place all year round, but especially during the summertime where people could just actually jump into the fountain and get wet. Um, also right next to it is uh, Key Arena. This is where uh, basketball games used to be played when Seattle used to still have its hometown uh, NBA team. But yeah, right now it's for like concerts and corporate events and whatnot. And this is of course still within the area of... Where is it? Oh, there you go. The uh, spacing was just right behind the tree branches. Sunday afternoon, um, and yeah, just a great way to say um, you guys take care. Thank you very much for watching my vlog, and until next time, this is G Friday. Ciao.